Happy fall everyone! Christy here at the Arboretum to talk about the beautiful fall colors we're now seeing. In summer, trees receive plenty of sunlight which is needed for healthy dark green foliage. Winter does not provide enough light or water for trees to make food by photosynthesis, which is why deciduous trees drop their leaves in the fall. In fall, the chlorophyll dies back, which allows other pigments to show through the leaves, creating a stunning display of color in our forests. During the winter, trees rest and live off stores of light and food that were made the previous spring and summer seasons. Since photosynthesis occurs in leaves, leaves regrow in spring when trees will begin to make food again. Since new leaves have less chlorophyll built up, they tend to be lighter in color. The color that trees change depend on the makeup of each species leaves. Yellow and orange come from carotene and xanthophyll pigments. Red and purple is caused by anthocyanins from trapped sugars. Browns are caused by tannin, a waste product. Many conifers stay green through winter. Their needles store moisture, which usually have a protective waxy coating, and they photosynthesize as needed. The weather in autumn also plays a role in how colorful leaves become. Dry late summers and sunny cool falls bring brighter colors because the sun helps the trees to produce more of the colorful pigments in their leaves. Wet late summers and cloudy warm falls cause dull colors because the lack of sun required to produce an abundance of colorful pigments in the leaves. So what are you waiting for? Go outside and see what colors you can find. Can you find examples of orange, yellow, red, purple, brown, and green? We'd love to hear about your adventures. For more educational videos like this one, visit rbg.ca slash at home. Until next time.